One of the special cases that happens when we find the solution set for a system of equations and two variables is parallel lines. These are easy to recognize if we are using a graphing solution, but when we are using one of the algebraic solutions, like elimination through addition, what does a set of parallel lines look like? This example will illustrate that. In this system, I am going to move both equations into the form ax plus by equals c so that I can use my elimination through addition method. The equation on the left expressed in that form is negative x plus 2y equals 6. So I use algebra to get it into that form. The equation on the right becomes negative x plus 2y equals 4. To create my equal and opposite situation with one of my variables, I have to multiply one of the equations by negative 1. So I'm doing that with the equation on the right. This turns it into x minus 2y equals negative 4. The next step is to move the equations together so that I can add them. I will move the equation on the left so that it is just below the equation on the right. And I will add them together. The x and the negative x cancel. And the negative 2y and the positive 2y also cancel. So my solution equation is 0 equals 2. This will always happen when you have parallel lines and you are using the elimination through addition method. All of the variables will cancel out into a 0, and on the other side, you end up with a constant term like 2. The statement 0 equals 2 makes no sense. And this is our clue that we have a special case here. Since parallel lines never cross, and therefore there can be no point of intersection, it would be impossible to get x equals a number or y equals a number as a result of our algebra. All that is left here is to identify the type of lines and give the solution set. The type of lines is parallel lines, and the solution set is no solution. Make sure to say the phrase no solution because that is the answer to this question. This is how we deal with a parallel line situation when using elimination through addition.